Hey everybody, welcome back to Spongebob's Prime. Today we're going to be taking a look at a favorite figure of mine from a certain Transformers series, Armada Starscream. So here's the figure out of the packaging. Uh, I got this figure about two or three months ago. And I gotta say that this figure is absolutely stellar and absolutely amazing. I know there's a bunch of paint chipping on him. It's because he's been through a lot. And to make him a little dingy and a little dirty, decided to wear off a bunch of that paint. Or at least a little of that paint. So with that out of the way, let's take a look at that glorious, glorious head sculpt here. Some, as you can see, I don't know how well you can see that. Let's focus in up there. Some nice... Let's see if I can... As you can see, you've got some nice orange for the eyes there. Got some nice white for the face plate. You've got some paint scratch right there. Got some nice red for the wings there, uh, which are both, you know, paint war. Got some nice red. Red, also paint war. Black. Got some nice red for the torso here with some nice blue. Got some nice red. Some nice gray for the wings there. Also got some nice, nice detailing all around here. So, and I got to say that this figure looks absolutely, absolutely stellar to his animation counterpart. Now, let us take a look at his accessories, which are including of his wing blade here, which I think is very nice. Wish it was red though, like it was in the original promo and when he was initially revealed. And then we have the glorious, glorious Star Saber. And I think it's very fitting for this character to wield the Star Saber and come with the Star Saber. So, that out of the way, let us get into some comparison. So here he is with his commander, Armada Leader Class Megatron. And here he is with the only other Armada figure that I own. I'm still trying to find Hot Shot, so there you go. So Starscream has a feature here that he had in the original show with where you could actually bring these pieces to the front here, just like so, and you can get his null laser cannon action. Unfortunately, I don't have any blast effects, so I can't do any of the blushing anymore, but you can just store these away, and then this piece... You can, for the back, for actually for this piece, sorry, you can have this piece folded down if you would like. So that way he doesn't have an enormous backpack. Or if you want, you could take this and bring it down just like that. If you like the classic Starscream look, which I think looks very nice for the dude. And let us get in all three of these guys. And it, here's here's how you can see all three of them looking all nice and shiny together. And I'm just missing hot shot here for the main shot. Okay, so with the comparisons out of the way, let us get into this dude's articulation. So what we're going to do here is go ahead and move this back so we can get all the articulation out of this dude that we can. So Starscream can raise his head all the way up, just like so, because he's a flying dude, and I really, really appreciate that, Hasbro. BMAC and Evan, you did a fantastic job with this figure, and the guys at Takara, too. I forget their names. Also, for a transformation... The wings can rotate and go back and forth on both of them. Your shoulders can do a full 360 back and forth. And due to transformation as well, they can go and extend it down just like that. You also have outward motion. You can go in that far, up that far. You have a bicep rotation also due to transformation. You have double elbow and sword wrists, which I think is pretty nice. Next thing on the chopping block here, you do have waist rotation, which isn't a full 360 as due to the cockpit here being tabbed in. But you do also have a leg up, which goes pretty far. Moving this back up, can go back pretty far, and a pretty deep knee bend. And then as Mecha Gaikotsu does for his feet articulation. Here is Starscream's foot articulation. Can go forward that far, can go back due to transformation. And you do have ankle pivot outside and can go inside. 
Alrighty, so with all of that out of the way, let us get in to his transformation, shall we? Let's. And here is Starscream in his jet mode. And I got to say that this looks absolutely, absolutely stellar for his jet mode, especially for it being a recreation from his animation model and not a stylized take thrilling 30s. We'll get to that when we get to that video. Anyways, here he is from the bottom. Here he is from the top, and yes, he is practically just a yoga posed Starscream, but that's how he was in the show. So now let us get into some comparisons in his vehicle mode. Alrighty, so here he is with Leader Class Armada Megatron. You can see it looks really, really good together and looks good on top of him. And here he is with Armada Optimus. Alrighty. So one last thing I wanted to show off here before we get to the end of the video here. You can store his weapons in vehicle mode, which you can use either this port right here, that port right there, or either one of these bottom ports. Or if you wanted to be goofy, you could do... This port in the front here, and you can just have him flying with the Star Saber. Like that. Or like that. But most people just store them right here because of, if I can get it, his box art. And there it is. There is your weapons stored in vehicle. Okay. So. This is my video review of the Transformers Armada Starscream from Transformers Legacy Wave 3. Uh, it finally hit shelves about three or four months ago in my area. And I gotta say, I absolutely love this figure. It poses like absolutely, absolutely well and looks really good next to Megatron and Optimus. Again, still looking for that hot shot. Either the Power Links version or just the regular hot shot. Alrighty. So that's pretty much all I have to say for the figure here. Don't forget to like and subscribe. If you want to, it's free. You don't have to. It just helps my channel grow. Uh, I'm also trying to reach a goal to get monetized before May of next year. So if you like what you see here, please subscribe. And that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching. Peace.